Snowy owls are so beautiful that most people would love to experience seeing one. They're mostly white like snow with yellow eyes and a round head and are heavily feathered from the top of the head to the tips of the claws. The sound they make is similar to a raven's but also has a piercing whistle. This is the heaviest owl in North America, weighing in at four pounds, heavier than the great horned owl or the great gray owl. They have thick feathers to protect them from the cold Arctic weather. They summer north of the Arctic Circle where they have 24 hour daylight. Sometimes when the lemming population is large, they will raise double or triple the normal amount of young. This causes some of the younger birds to travel south to the United States for food in winter, although they occur quite regularly in the northern plains, New York, and New England. Here they hunt in fields and dunes and shorelines. They will often perch in high points like hay bales, fence posts, telephone poles, buildings, and grain elevators. All snowy owls are barred with dark brown when they are young, but males get whiter as they get older. Females keep some of the dark markings. Sometimes both male and female have slight dark barring, but the whitest birds you see are male, and the very heavily barred ones are females. Some owls return to the same site winter after winter. Most owls are nocturnal, but snowy owls are diurnal. They hunt at all hours of day and night. They prefer open spaces to hunt, especially rolling terrain, so they can have a vantage point to survey with a good view of their prey. This includes small mammals like lemmings, rodents, rabbits, hares, squirrels, weasels, ptarmigan, and waterfowl. They can cut, catch small birds while flying. While hunting, they can sit for hours, swiveling their head and blinking their big yellow eyes for a closer look. They have extraordinary vision and hearing for hunting. They then pounce on their prey and swallow it in one gulp. Snow owls will dive bomb and strike at other species or humans, even attacking arctic wolves at times.